there are a couple of medicines we use when a kid is in an attack. Uh, the most commonly used one is albuterol. It's relatively inexpensive. Yes. And there's a little bit more expensive called uh, Zolpinex. Mm -hmm. Is there any justification to spending extra money for Zolpinex or albuterol in your eyes? Um, there are certain people who believe that the uh, Zopinex uh, will cause less side effects and, and there are some children who actually do not respond very well to albuterol because it uh, leads to a lot of side effects, for example, jitteriness, elevated heart rate. Um, most of the studies that have been done uh, don't necessarily show a difference uh, uh, in side effects between the two medications. Uh, however, um, the problem is, is that we Right now, we actually don't have the tools to uh, to properly predict which children are going to benefit from something like Zobinex, uh, and there are probably subtle differences uh, in in uh, in patients from a genetic basis uh, that would mandate the use of the more expensive Zobinex uh, as compared to the albuterol. Well, we get some kids who shake. Yes, and we put them albuterol. They shake. Yeah. On Zolpinex, they don't shake. Yeah. And that's a pretty good test. Yeah, that, that is a pretty good test. Yes. Okay. But if they don't shake and they're on albuterol, I find the difference in attitude isn't justified for the cost most times. Yes, I agree. There's always an exception to every rule. Yes, right? I agree.